Hello and welcome. My name is Amulya and you are watching Achievement. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix MySQL is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or batch file. So, I assume that you already have installed MySQL and you're trying to access, access it using command prompt or PowerShell and you're getting this error message. Okay. So to fix it, we need to go ahead and set this MySQL to the system's variable path and I'm going to show you how to do it. So go ahead and press the Windows key and letter E on your keyboard to open the file explorer or you can click this file explorer from here bottom irrespective of the operating system. So Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 or 10. Now under here, go ahead and open the drive where I've got MySQL installed. So I've got it here under C drive and then I've got tools. Under tools I've got MySQL. Now this is completely different on your system. Okay, So you have to figure out your uh, MySQL folder. Okay, This is my directory path on my system. Okay, so. Once you are in this MySQL folder, look for current. If you are using MySQL 8, if you're not using MySQL 8, you will have to look for bin folder, wherever it is, okay? And then you have to copy this location, okay? Under here, you, under bin, you've got MySQL, you can see it here, and MySQL D as well, all right? So once we have this location, MySQL bin folder location, we can go ahead and close it. To add this to the systems path, go ahead and click on the start menu here on your operating system and look for, just type variable if you're using Windows 7, uh, 8 or 10. Otherwise you will have to get to this from control panel. All right, so click on this edit system environment variables and as soon as you get this system properties go under advanced and click on here Adva uh, environment variables and there are two sections this is for system variable so if you want to create system variable for all the users on the system you can go ahead and select the path and hit edit if you just want to add this path to the specific user you're logged in with, go ahead and select path and hit edit. So I'm going to put this on this system for everybody logged in. So I'm going to select path and hit edit. And once you are under on this edit environment variables window, go ahead and say new and paste that location MySQL current bin location depending on the version that you're using of mysql this may differ all right so let, let's go ahead and click ok ok again ok again now make sure you relaunch your command prompt or powershell after adding mysql to the system variable path go ahead and launch mysql uh, sorry command prompt or powershell whichever you are comfortable with and then you can access your mysql okay so access is denied because i'm using password so i'll have to type everything okay so i've got password as well i can go ahead and enter the password and i'm in mysql okay so i'm using mysql version 8 if you want to install MySQL 8, go ahead and watch video on my channel. I already have one video, so that will help you download and install MySQL on Microsoft Windows 10, 8, and even 7. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, suggestions, leave in the comment below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions and take your feedback as well. Thank you again and have a good day. Bye for now.